morning everyone my name is Carla and you have reached my floss tube channel Carla being crafty where I talk about mostly cross stitch but other crafts that I enjoy um, as well and a little bit of life thrown in um, today is floss tube number 172 it is Sunday December 25th uh, Merry Christmas for those of you who celebrate Christmas if you are celebrating Hanukkah this year like I am um, then happy seventh day of Hanukkah tonight is the last night um, where we will have a full menorah it will be really beautiful and i will be doing my last floss makeup video for the year um so i want to say welcome to anybody who's finding my channel for the first time i hope that you like what you see want to hit like and subscribe and all that good stuff i also have a super thanks button below and a big 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 thank you to amanda allen for using that super thanks button last week and giving me a monetary tip um, I really do appreciate it. Any money that comes to me through there is pretty much going back into the channel um, to pay for a Zoom uh, membership. That's not the right word, not membership, but uh, my Zoom, my Zoom monthly Zoom registration, so I can do Zoom uh, Zoom meetings without getting kicked off every uh, half hour, and um, and also postage and stuff like that when I send things out um, from my channel. So thank you, Amanda. I really appreciate it. Um, so I was in the middle of my welcome, right? If you are not a new viewer, if you are one of my um, uh, regular viewers, regular subscribers, then welcome to you guys too. You know how much I appreciate you being here. Um, I hope you've been watching my daily videos this past week. I've had a lot of fun doing them. I'm wearing my my annual uh kitty hanukkah shirt today um i've been saving it you know and i decided the last day was the best day to wear it uh the last uh plastic video so i'll have it for tonight's video um i've been enjoying doing those um i'm really happy with the response to them but if you haven't seen them yet um you know there's plenty of time to still watch them and still learn um a little bit about hanukkah and uh yeah so i encourage you to go watch those videos um, and let me know what you think. So I always kind of give a little, uh, weather report and I feel almost guilty saying this today because I know so many people have been hit with really bad snowstorms and extremely cold weather, but here in Southern California today, the weather popped up and it's about 80. <laughs> well, it's not yet. It will be. It's supposed to get up to 80 today. Um, and then it's going to go back down into the mid-70s tomorrow. And then next week, we're back down to the low 60s. And we're supposed to be getting rain next week. Um, but I do feel bad saying that today it's in the 80s. So uh, it's windy. It's, you know, but it's it's going to be warm today, actually. Um, I am not, you know, super thrilled about that. I like having a little bit of winter weather for a while before we get into hot weather. Um, so... Um, but I'm sure that those of you who are freezing your tootsies off, uh, might enjoy a little bit of warm weather right now. Um, I don't know that this is going to be a very long video today, which is fine. Um, I, I did stitch all week, but, um, because I was doing my, uh, videos every night that kind of, I don't know, it, it ate into the craft time and it also ate in a little bit to my craft energy so um i have a few things to show you but not as much as normal um but i do want to give you guys a reminder before we get into that this is here because of my um doing my flossnick videos and yes it is totally in my way right now i'm bothering the heck out of me um but after tonight i will be able to move it um i just don't want to move it around because it's like in the perfect spot right um, I took it down yesterday because I filmed my, my whip parade, um, yesterday. So look out for that. I might actually post that tomorrow. I was supposed to tell you this at the end of the video, right? In plan. So I'll end up telling you again. Um, I, I was thinking about posting it Wednesday, but then I realized I also have a cat lady box video that needs to be filmed. So I'll probably post that Wednesday and I will actually use my day off tomorrow to post my whip parade. So keep an eye out for that. Um, but that was not the reminder I want to tell you about. The reminder is that there is going to be a New Year's Eve Zoom call on New Year's Eve. Um, so I'm going to start the Zoom at 8 o'clock Pacific time and go until 
um, probably one o'clock my time. Um, unless we're having a huge party and people want to stay on, then maybe we'll stay later. But um, I, I know I'm going to get people dropping off. <laughs> um, who, anybody who's not in this time zone is going to it's going to be getting later and later for you. So I'm sure everybody's going to be dropping off around that time. And I am going to be doing my New Year New Start while on the call. I am doing uh, Artisy Full Coverage Pinky and Blue Boy. Um, very excited to start these. Pinky and Blue Boy were in my home my entire life. Um, I've shown them on this channel, the little, the little reprints that I have. Um, I've also been to the Huntington Museum where they are live. Um, and I was really excited to find them in a cross stitch format. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be starting those. I'm going to be doing them on one piece of fabric and stitching them kind of like simultaneously. Um, and then, you know, I'll cut them apart. I'm going to frame them separately, but hang them together because Pink and Blue Bay always hang together. Um, excuse me while I use a little bit of lip balm here because I have... I have a matte, ouch, a matte lipstick on and it's um, making my lips feel a little dry. Ow. I just pinched myself with my, my lip balm. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to be stitching them on one piece of fabric like simultaneously. So I'll stitch because I stitch, um, I stitch full coverage on a 10, uh, on a 10 stitch diagonal row. So I will do like one diagonal on pinky and one diagonal on blue boy and you know back and forth like that um because i want to make sure that they grow together and they're finished at the same time um so i'm going to stitch them on the one piece of fabric then i'll cut them apart and frame them separately and hang them together if any of that makes sense um so yeah i'm really excited i'm going to be stitching them on 28 count fabric two over one tent and um I'm really looking forward to starting them. So yeah, so that'll be on next Saturday night, which is New Year's Eve. That we'll be starting that. Um, so my video next Sunday might be a little bit later than normal because I will be going to bed maybe a little bit later than normal. So just keep an eye out. I still plan on doing a video um, the first of the of the year, um, but uh, but it might be a little bit later than than normal. Of course. When I film it has nothing to do with when it goes up because I could finish filming at, you know, nine o'clock in the morning. Um, it's actually, it's 10 o'clock right now. Um, I could finish filming at 10 or finish filming at 11 and it's the uploading that depends on when it goes up. So sometimes things upload like really quickly within half an hour and sometimes it takes hours and hours and hours. So it really doesn't matter so much as when I film it, I guess. Um, I'll, although in my head, if I do it earlier, it goes faster, but I don't know that that's true. So anyway, um, if you are interested in joining me on the zoom call, all the information is in the description box below for getting on the zoom call. And I would love to see you there. If you don't have time to sit and stitch, then just jump in and say happy new year and, and be on your way. Um, hopefully though, we will have a nice core group of people who are stitching and, and celebrating and, you know. BYOB. <laughs> um, don't get too drunk because then you won't be able to stitch. But um, yeah, I've got my little like appetizery foods plan, cheese and crackers and olives and things. And I got some special um, some sp some special sodas that I've been wanting that are kind of too expensive for <laughs> everyday use. But I figured I'm not going to drink champagne by myself, but I'll sit here and I'll drink a, a, a clearly Canadian. Um, okay, I guess that's it. Um, not too much preamble. Again, please watch my Floss Naked videos. I spent a lot of time and energy on them and I would love to have as many people watch as possible. Tell your friends and neighbors. Okay, but let's get to the stitching, the small amount of stitching I did this week. I shouldn't even say it's a small amount. It's just, it was a little bit more, um, uh, monogamous than I normally do. Um, I do have a finish or what I'm calling a finish. Um, so it is the uh, Butterfly Duo. This is a little Dimensions Needlepoint Kit. And 
I'm calling it a finish. It is finished as much as I'm planning on doing on it. Um, I went ahead and I did all this back stitching on this butterfly. I did, a, I did what was required on this one. There is a lot more back stitching that's supposed to be done and all of turning all of this stuff into grass. And you know what? Don't have the time, patience, or energy to do it. I think it looks great the way it is. It's going to go into a cross stitch journal or a finishing journal of some kind. It obviously needs to be blocked a little bit. Um, so when I get around to doing that, I have, um, a <clears throat> cork board and some pins and I just do my own blocking. Um, when it's just a little thing like this, it's, it's pretty easy to do. Um, but yeah, I decided, you know what? I pulled it out. I finished the back stitching on the butterfly cause that did need to be done. Um, but there was also like these red dots and I was debating on whether <clears throat> do it with the stitches or French knots or beads. And you know what? I like the way it looks now. Um, I don't, I don't want to do any more on it. I just don't, I want it to be done and I'm happy. I'm happy with it the way it is. So, yep. So that is a finish. Oops. Okay. Then I did work on my stitching the situation, which, um, you know, I'm not going to pull it out. <laughs> it's huge. You've seen it. Um, I do want to talk about it a little bit because I haven't worked on it for a while. Um, it is kind of a hard project for me to work on emotionally and physically. Um, when I get the border done and I give it its bath, which I've been talking about ever since I got it, um, I... I think I'm going to be ready to pass it on before I finish the, um, the icon I'm stitching. I don't know. Um, I definitely want to pass it on to somebody else soon. I think, um, Stacy's going to do the, um, the date <laughs> that I charted down at the bottom. Um, so I think I might give it to her, um, sooner rather than later and she can start working on that. Um, and then once I get it back, I'll work some more on the wreath part that I'm doing. Um, and then I'm going to be ready to start sending it to anybody who's interested. I have a big list, um, of people who had said they were interested. Um, I'll probably talk to a couple of the people here, uh, in kind of my area. Um, Julie from <clears throat> Stitching at the Cabin might be interested in, in working on it a little bit or doing some fill-in. So I might give it to her just because, um, you know, I can give it to her with a drive as opposed to mailing it and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so I think this year I am going to send it on its journeys and at least get that started. So I did work on it a little bit this week. I had in mind, oh, I should do this as like a 25 seven thing. And maybe I will try and do that starting, um, starting in January. Maybe I'll try and put in uh, a little bit of time on it every day. I mean, it is a full coverage, right? So if it's the theme anyway, but maybe I'll try and do a little bit of a little bit on it every day in January to get a nice little block done on it. And then, and then I'll evaluate it going forward. Um, <clears throat> but, um, it's hard for me to stitch on. It's not, to be honest, it's not super enjoyable for me to stitch on. And, um, when things become, when things in my craft world, which is my, um, my fully enjoyable world, when they become a chore or, or like a job, then I, I don't know, it's really hard for me to motivate myself to do it. So there's that. <clears throat> um, but yeah, but I did work on it a little bit, uh, basically just on the border. Um, and I'm going to try, as I said, in January, I'm going to try and do, um, 25, seven or or maybe even just like 10 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day. But when I start stitching, I'll put in 10 minutes on that first and, um, see how far I get, uh, doing that. Or maybe like one, one strand, one length, if, if I'm just on the border or doing fill in or something, one length of floss and, um, and see where, you know, see where that gets me. Anyway, so onto the other projects I worked on this week. There's only two um, because I'm trying to get these final push to finish. This one is not going to get done, but I um, did get some work on Gigi. And um, 
I think she's looking pretty good. So she's not going to get done um, this year. This was not uh, a success as far as that goes. Um, so probably she will um, be put away until um, I think March. I'm doing Fancy Folk. So she will come out in March and get a finish then. Unless. I'm going to still have a week, so possibly. I guess I could get her finished this week, but I don't know. Now this, I have tried really hard the last couple of days to get this done for this video, and I didn't quite make it yesterday. I finally stopped stitching. I was like, I'm tired. I'm getting annoyed with it because I'm not done yet. Um, so here is my sweet William. I am down to this last clump of flowers. Um everything else is done except this last pink clump. I finished the greens. I finished this whole section over here and I'm thinking today this will get done. Yeah. And uh, I have to get this done because I have all of these realist kits that um, I have been opening in my um, Flossnica videos, and I, I have the seven to show you. There's still one that's uh, that's um, hasn't been pulled out of the bag yet, but I'm gonna want to start a new one in February, and uh, this one has to be done <laughs> before I start a new one. So yes, I'm so close, so close on this. Just. Just this clump, this clump that's like this big. And that was my stitching this week. Okay, um, haul. Again, I am going to go ahead and just show you really quick the Riolis kits that I've been showing on um, my uh, Flossnicka videos. And then I have a couple other kits that uh, were gifts in kind of one piece of haul. So these seven realist kits, um, um, I ordered all of these from Amazon, so if you're interested in getting some realist kits, Amazon has a really good selection. Um, now, some of them, it's it's interesting. Some of them have English like names on them, and some of them don't. They just have the number, and then everything's in Russian. So, um, I'm not 100% sure what the names are, but I think this one is called uh, Forget Me Nots. This is a. Um, the woolen and acrylic yarn. And the colors. Forget me not. This one is hydrangeas. And this is also woolen and acrylic yarn. I actually had this one, full disclosure, I already had this one. I didn't order it for this series, but I did show it in the series because you guys haven't seen it in a really long time and I still haven't started it. So, and the flosses are hidden, so I can't show you what they look like. Those are the hydrangeas. These all come with Ada, which I will probably either dye or replace. This is called Purple Allium, so this one does have it in English. It's also white instead of cream. I wonder if that makes a difference. I guess it does. Okay, so purple allium. This is also the wool acrylic. Yeah. This one has 17 colors. I forgot to tell you guys that part. This one has 13 colors. And this one has 11 colors. Allium. Uh, 
Um, this one I think is called Blackberries. Um, it doesn't say the number of colors. Looks like it's got, no, there's two cards, so it's more than 10. This one is actually um, Anchor Floss. It's Janet Cotton, 22 colors. And this is called uh, Watercolor Barberas. People really seem to like this one, which, you know, why not? It's gorgeous. This one, oh, this is another one that people really liked. This is a Wisteria. This is done with the wool acrylic yarn, and it is 19 colors. See, now I think this would be really pretty on a very, very pale blue fabric. And then the last one, well, actually, it's not the last one because I get, I'm getting another one tonight. But this one is also done with um, Anchor Floss, but this is a little bit different. This is actually a black work pattern. It's called Orange Mood. Hi, Becky. And it comes with Black Ada, 14 count Black Ada. So I think I can work on the 14 count. I have done a project on 14 count Black Ada before and was able to see the holes and everything um, just fine. So I think that, um, I think that won't be a problem. And that's it as far as the Realist kits and then the other three things I have to show you is I got this, um, Jen Marsh, who is a lovely subscriber of the channel, sent me a sort of Hanukkah, um, eight night package with eight little presents in there to unwrap, um, each night. And I'm not showing you all the little goodies. You didn't have to watch the video for that. But, um, one of the things she got, I got this last night was a Thomas Kincaid, um, kit which is something I've been really intrigued by because it's an embellished cross stitch. So in other words, the, the main picture is actually printed on the fabric and then you use the floss to embellish the printed picture. Um, I think in this case, it's gonna be adding, adding the flowers and actually there's stitches it seems in all of this greenery and stuff um, and on the, the um, bridge. So I've, I've been very intrigued by these. There's a lot of these Thomas Kincaid ones, um, I've seen on, uh, different sites of these embellished cross stitches and they, I think they're beautiful. Um, so I've been intrigued by them and it's, it's funny that she would send me one because I've, I've considered buying them several times. Um, just cause I kind of want to see, you know, what is that like to, to kind of just do the accent stuff and is it is it more fun and you end up with like this great project that was a lot easier to do or is it not as as fun because you know um because you're not doing it from scratch so i'm very interested to see how i feel about this um regardless i'm going to end up with a beautiful project because i mean look at that thomas kincaid stuff is so pretty Okay, oh, and then this was a Hanukkah gift that I am saying it came from my friend Don Frisch. She actually sent me an Amazon gift card and at the same time I just ordered this. Um, they came like the same day, so I figure, yeah, she, she got this for me. Um, and it is a Dimensions Gold kit that I am planning on starting in January because why not? <laughs> why not? If we end up with 50 whips at the end of 2023, so be it. Um, it is what it is and it's all good. But I have had my eye on this for a long time. It's a Dimensions Gold Kit called Kitty Litter. And so cute. It does come with a cream color Ada, which I will go ahead and, and use, not change that, because this looks pretty much full coverage. I think Dimensions Gold Kits are pretty much full coverage. Um, they do have areas where you have half stitches and stuff, so the fabric color comes through. But, you know, 
um, I think that this kit is, is pretty much what it needs to be. So there's that one. And then the last thing I have to show you is this was an impulse buy, I gotta say. Um, did I need this? No. When will I start it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe in March, maybe, maybe not until next year. I do not know, but I did know that I wanted it. And it is Mirabilia's Rosamond. So Rosamond is basically Sleeping Beauty. Um, but I just have always really liked this one. I just think she's really beautiful. Um, and I, I love the flowers, the briar roses everywhere and, you know, the purple bedding. And I did get the bead pack because there's all these things about they're going to stop making certain sizes of the Mill Hill beads and blah, blah, blah. And so I figured I might as well get the bead pack and just be sure that I have them. So there is that. So... Yeah, so that's pretty much uh, all the haul I want to show you. As I said, I got a bunch of like really cool this and that's from uh, from Dawn and from from Jen and from um, uh, my friend Bonnie Lerner. She sent me a big bag of beads. Um, so I got a lot. I've gotten a lot of like Hanukkah stitch goodies um, over the course of the week. Um, I'm not going to show them all. Um, as I said, please watch the Flossnicka videos and then you can see them. But um, I am feeling extremely blessed and I kind of, as I've opened things, I put them back in the in the box. So after tonight, I'm gonna be able to just like, go through this box, as I said, like a little dragon with my hoard and um, and look at all my stuff again and, um, and put it away, decide which things I'm gonna pull out and use right away, which things are, are gonna wait. Um, plans this week. Um, basically, I finished Sweet William, possibly finish Gigi, work on Gigi. Um, other than that, I think I'm pretty set as far as, you know, I'm going into next year with the whips that I have. Um, I need to think a little bit about things I might want to start. Um, obviously, I'm starting uh, Pinky and Blue Boy in January or actually in December, December 31st, but New Year's Eve, so it's next year in my head. I'm gonna start um, the, the kitty litter, and I don't know what else I might start. Who knows? Um, you know, at the beginning of the year, I kind of feel like I'm in a start all the things mood. Um, nothing's holding me back. Um, and then as I get towards the end of the year, then I'm like, oh, stop starting things. We want to get finishes. And that just seems to be how, how my uh, stitchy creativeness works. Um, I do have uh, little golden books to work on this year because I've had winners um, every night for my Flossnika videos. Um, I've heard from everybody except one person. Um, so I'll wait probably about a week if I don't hear from them, um, then, um, I will have to consider what I'm going to do. Am I going to pick somebody else? I'm going to wait a little longer. I don't know. Um, and yeah, so I don't know. I have decisions to make on what I, I mean, with all these new kits and stuff, this, the itch to start is, is, uh, is pretty strong with me right now. Um, I'm not so concerned about finishing Gigi. Sweet William, I must get finished. <laughs> I must. Um, so I'm going to work on that today and I, I don't think it's going to take me that long to get it done. So, um, if I get to this evening and I'm done with that, I don't know, maybe I'll start something. If I start something this week, it's not counted until next, next year, as far as on my whip parade or my whip list. Um, so, you know, my, my philosophy, my roles, right? Um, so as I said earlier in the video, I did do my whip parade yesterday. So barring any problems, I think I'm going to upload it tomorrow. So please look out for that. Um, it turned out to be about an hour and 15 minutes. So not too bad. Um, 
And next weekend, because I have another three-day weekend, so glorious, um, next weekend I will film my finish parade and then upload that on the first. And um, yeah, and then, then we're in 2023 and the world starts anew. So um, I hope everybody has had a really wonderful holiday season. Um, I hope that temperatures wherever you are are acceptable to you <laughs> and um you know that um that everything is good uh you know we all have our struggles and this year has been wonderful in some ways and difficult in some ways and you know i, I that's i guess that's nothing unusual um so i want to thank you all all for being part of my my floss tube journey this whole year. Um, I, I cannot, uh, be more grateful for having taken the step to, to do a floss tube. Um, I've gotten so much joy out of it. Um, so much joy out of meeting the people that I've met through my channel. Um, and I just look forward to bigger and better things for all of us. Um, yeah, I, I've been enjoying, you know, getting together on Zoom meetups with you guys um, monthly. I have, oh, that's another thing is I need to kind of think about uh, my Zoom meetup schedule for next year. I don't have anything scheduled yet for January, so I'm gonna have to think about that. Um, I think I probably will schedule one for January on a Sunday afternoon um, because I know I'm always home on the Sunday afternoons. I don't know what my schedule is gonna be as far as uh, going over to see the kids and Aaron and Stacy. Um, so, cause I kind of have to work my zooms around them, but I, but Sunday afternoons are, are pretty safe as far as that goes for me. So, um, so maybe I'll look at my calendar and schedule one, um, before next week. Uh, <clears throat> but before then, of course we have New Year's Eve Zoom. So now I'm rambling, but I do want to say that again, that I hope you guys have had a wonderful year. I hope that you have um, excitement looking forward to the new year and um and until i see you again please remember to be content be kind and be crafty this is carla happy new year everybody Bye bye